How you doing? Great. Uh, Cindy, my wife and I, my wife's name is Cindy, we went on a little vacation last week and as we were driving back home, we were thinking of a children's message. And all of a sudden, the you know, Holy Spirit provides things at the most inopportune times. But we're driving along and there's a lot of horse feeding areas and pastures going up 101 down in the Central Valley. And Cindy said, well, that's odd. I don't think I've ever seen a horse lie down. I thought they slept standing up. And so, of course, you know, we're in the car, and I don't have all the answers, but uh, uh, I said, well, why don't you Google it and see, you know, <laughs> if horses sleep standing up. And so she read it and said, I'll be. God has designed horses so that when they want to take a nap, which they do a lot, they're able to lock their knees and doze for a little bit, but it's not really REM sleep. You know, it's not really deep sleep. They have to get some of that during the day, but they can only do that when they feel safe. And if they feel safe, then they'll actually lie down because when they're lying down, they're very vulnerable to predators, you know, in the case of like the you know, mountain lion or something like that, could jump on them before they can get back up on their feet. So God's designed safety mechanisms for us to feel safe and be able to, uh, to rest. And that kind of ties together with in today's story. Here Jesus, you know, everybody is standing around in the boat and this big storm comes up and who's asleep? Jesus, right? He's asleep in the back of the boat, and they're going, hey, don't you, we're going to die here. What, what are you doing sleeping? I said, hold on a second here. I am at peace. You should be at peace. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. And so then he calmed the storm, and they were amazed. So what that tells us is, you know, we're going to go through storms in life. And sometimes things are going to get a little bit rocky, and we're going to start wondering, hey, God, uh, what's going on here? I need some help. And God says this repeatedly, and Job is a, a, always a good example. Unless you have it worse than Job, you're not doing too bad. And, uh, but don't worry. I'm, I love you. I will take care of you. I'll always be with you. And even if that trial calls us home, because eventually people go through that last trial of their life before they come home to heaven, he says, you're safe. You can rest. No worry. All right? Let's pray. <coughs> Gracious Heavenly Father, help us to remember that when we go through these various storms and trials in our life, that you are always behind us and you are always supporting us because you love us. You sent your son Jesus to die for us. And therefore, we should be able to be at peace and be able to rest and relax in that surety that despite the difficulties in this life, we will be with you in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you can go share that with somebody else, right? I tell them about the horses. I thought that was fascinating. <laughs> Pastor's got a couple of bullets there for you. Did you hear me, Howard? Very well. Good. <laughs>